Hey everyone, this is Nat and welcome back! So for today's video, it's going to be a different project because I'm not going to be sewing but today I'll be trying to finger knit a chunky sweater for the first time So this is a colossal sweater that you've seen all over Instagram I made this because I'm inspired from the brand Hope Macaulay which is also called as a chunky sweater this DIY is kind of simple because you will not need any knitting needle. This knitting process is just simply using your own fingers. So it is very simple and super chunky. And it's so comfortable to be wear. It's just like wearing a blanket all over you. So I hope that you guys enjoy today's video and if you find today's video useful, please kindly subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. These are the pattern pieces and the color choices that I choose to make this chunky sweater. And for my pattern pieces, I'm using loops as the approximately width and height of all of my pattern pieces. So the yarn I'm using is a 100% microfiber. And this yarn is also called as the big loop. And if you're searching for this yarn, they're usually using a 20mm knitting needle. Let's start with the first step, which is making a knot. So you need to wrap the yarn along your palm twice and then pull out a loop like so. Then tighten up the loop by pulling out the yarn. Make sure that it is tight enough, but not too tight. And for my case, I'm always measuring all my loops, which is the half of my index finger so that the loop I created will always be consistent throughout the knitting process. Then just keep measuring and pulling out the loop until you reach a desired length. Once you reach the end, pull out the last loop and turn it so that it will face upwards. And then bring out the yarn to the other side and insert the yarn between the loops and then just keep doing it somehow I quite enjoy the process and I feel like this knitting session is really relaxing so I just continue to pull out the loops until I reach a certain point where I feel like this color is enough and I decided to move on to another color so next I'm changing the colors for the next color, I'm using the pink color because I feel like it complements well with the blue. And to start changing the color is by making a loop and inserting it to the last loop you created with your previous color. And then just keep going and keep inserting the loop to the next one until you reach your desired pattern. And right now I'm making the front piece so it's going to be just a rectangular shape. And I feel like the blue and the pink color combination makes a really good color block palette. Okay, so now for the next step is how to cast off. So what you need to do is insert the loop as usual, like what you did at the last row. And then put the second loop to the first loop. Pull it out. And then pull the second loop to the next loop. You just have to keep repeating the step over and over again. Second loop to the first loop, pull the second loop. After finishing all the front and back piece, I realized that I ran out of yarn, so I decided to bought another one. And because the blue yarn is finished, so I decided to improve and replace the blue yarn with another shade of pink, which is the darker pink color. So for the next step is making the sleeve. It is quite similar but also different from making the front and back piece because the sleeve is in circular shape but the step is the same. You just have to first make the knot and tighten it up, create a loop and keep repeating and doing it until you reach a specific amount of length. Once you reach the end of the loop, Pull out the last loop and insert the beginning yarn into the last loop, tighten it up 
and then continue to insert another loop above the first loop you're making. Since the sleeve is a lantern shape, so just maintain the amount of loops you want for the bottom part. And then after you feel like it is enough, then add another loop like this, which is by adding another loop on the same loop. So there will be two loops on one loop. And then I just keep adding more loops while increasing the sleeve. I did not exactly count how much the loop I'm increasing, but I feel like if it's enough, then I stop adding the loops. So for the last and final step is attaching all the piece. I have all the back, front, and sleeve. So how to attach the piece is like how you cast off all of the yarn. You have to insert the first loop to the second loop, and then pull out the second loop and moving on to the next loop. And I start by attaching the side seam. So attach the front to the back and then attach the sleeve to the front and the back. It is quite tricky because it is in circular motion. The last part is I'm attaching the shoulder part. And then I have my chunky sweater ready to be worn. Thank you.